And early voting for the primary election in Texas is now in its second and final week with Texas being an open primary state. It does leave the door open for voters to have many options for candidates. k Vanessa Johnson explains how an open primary can affect results. Campaigns for local, state and national elections are at the center of the political arena. Voting in the primary election now is only the beginning. In the general election, the people that are win in the primary and the runoff, then those are on the ballot against the candidates from the other parties. Texas is an open primary state, meaning when you register to vote, you are not required to choose a political party. Versus being in a closed primary state where you choose the party, whether that's Democrat or Republican, during the time of your registration. This can give a voter the flexibility to determine which party's candidates they better align with. Well, to the party, it selects the best candidate out of many. And to the candidates, it, if they're going to have a message in the general election, it's better to hone that message in the primary. And competition is good. And while officials root for their party, they are just encouraging people to participate to help determine the ballot for the general election. To encourage everyone to vote, period. And sift through um, the candidates and see who you think is the stronger one and who deserves your vote. And so vote with uh, knowledge and some uh, appreciation for the issues that are at stake. Vanessa Johnson, KTRE, East Texas News 9. Early voting for the open primary election closes March 1st and the actual election day is Tuesday, March 5th.